Hello, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to choose the right solar panel for your golf cart. We'll start right here because this is the first golf cart I ever put solar panels on. Now this, I did not choose solar panels. I had these four solar panels laying around and I just put them on there to see what happened and it's freaking awesome. These are really old, the efficiency on them is not that great, but they are charging. Most of put out about 400 watts into this golf cart which keeps the battery charged all the time. Next one we did is this. Now this is an easy go workhorse and I went with a smaller panel because I didn't want the panel hanging over the back where you're pulling tools in and out. And so a lot of it is just preference on size. You'll measure your cart, your existing roof, you'll measure that and then you'll measure your panel between 40 and 44 range. That's how wide most of your solar panels are. And then they're gonna vary in length according to wattage. You gotta determine the watt and the volts of your panels. Most of the panels nowadays are between 30 and 40 volts, pretty standard, regardless of size. And so you need a boost controller. Now this one right here is an eco-worthy boost controller. This one's good for 450 watts. We've got a 380 watt panel, that one will work. Now I really wanna put like a 700 watt panel on a golf cart, but I cannot find a boost controller that can handle that many watts. Most I've found is 600 watt boost controllers. So this is our most recent build. This is three 405 watt solar panels. I do like the oversize I found, give you more shade. I just picked these up from my good buddy, Pat, over in Hurricane, Utah. Here's the video of us choosing out these panels. We are checking out two different panels that we're thinking about putting on the six seater. We've got the Aptus 440 panel right here, and we decided that it's actually kind of too big. They're all about the same width, you can see. We're 44 and just over a half inch. So the width is all the same, but the length, we're going 75 inches here. We said that's just a little bit too long, but it would be cool to have 440 watts on there. It's a little bit lighter. It's a 405 and it's a Lexus. So this is the one we're going to go with. I think it'll be just the right panel for the project we're doing. But there's so many different ones to choose from. That's the thing about choosing solar panels for your golf cart is you've got to find the right one size wise. Measuring tape is what decides what size you need. Weight, measuring tape. So this is how I like to transport solar panels. I'll put them face down on a packaging blanket. This is the first time I've actually hauled multiple panels. And so I put a strap underneath the packaging blanket as well so that I can wrap the panels together in a bundle and then strap them all down. Nice thing about brand new panels is they come with the cardboard already for on these corners. One more on there. Line them up perfectly square. But wrap them with that blinky. So that's how I do multiple panels. Strap them together first. See those things can't even move at all. They're solid to there. So this strap comes from there, around here, and across. That gives you a cross pattern and tie down on each end. And that's there, we'll go across 17 miles of dirt road and we won't even break a panel. So with these three panels hooked together in series, that's giving me close to 120 volts open circuit voltage. And so with this one, I got a Boge RV charge controller. We're running higher volts and so we don't need a boost controller, we're actually dropping the voltage down to charge this battery. This is a 2002 club car, and this is the golf cart we're gonna be going in and getting a solar panel for this one today. I'm gonna to measure this, we're looking at about 44 inches. And let's see how long this is. It's about 78 inches long. So we could go, obviously we could go longer, and we could go a little bit wider. I'm gonna put a single panel on this, or I could put two panels on here. That is an option. When we get in there, we'll measure and find the perfect panel for this car. That's the nice thing about Pat. He's got a lot of different sizes, and so I can just measure and choose them out. Picked this up like six months ago. It's just been sitting here. I played with it a little bit. We've driven it around. It came with these lead acid batteries. 
We've got six lead acid batteries in here. Now the reason I've got this set up like it is, is because we need to have access in here to see our V-Glide. See, I've got the GoPro in here, point at the V-Glide. We're about ready to climb the mountain and burn that V-Glide out. That's the first thing we do, burn out the V-Glide. You don't have to, but it's way more fun to burn it out. And then we're gonna convert this golf cart to solid state like we have our other one in this video here. Here we are getting off the hurricane exit, headed towards solar panel place. Dropping down the hill. Now the, over here is where I bought my dump trailer. Look at all those dump trailers. Sweet. If you look over here, I think we can see past business. Maybe not, the hill's covering a little bit. Yep, that's where we're going. There you go, straight ahead. Right there, there's the solar panels. You got the solar panel back in there. Cool. Well, I'm pretty excited. So we back in here so we can load the panel. Let's show you guys some panels. This is what I like about coming here. He's got so much to choose from. So they do a lot of solar panel recycling here. They sort through and they pull out the good panels. They resell some of those. They've got new panels. That's what they got going on here is they've got some sorted, some they're sorting. So they've got two businesses here. One that does the recycling and one that does retail and wholesale. Go Green Man. We're gonna look at these panels over here. As you can see, this is actually the one that we're gonna want for the blue one. So the top that's on there now is 44 inches. So this is just barely wider than the top that's on there. Let's see how long it is. Oh, that's nice. So the other top is like 80 inches. So this is a little bit longer. So this is a little bit bigger than what is on there. That's what I like about these. And this is a 535 watt panel. That's what the top looks like. You can see here, this one is the same width. That's pretty standard on panels. They're right in that range. Take the length there, 75, so it's definitely shorter. So that is an option if you wanted to have a smaller top on there. And this one is a 440 watt. So that charges golf cart really well. It's 41 volts. It would need a boost controller for that one. Check out this one right here. Oh, look at that. That one's a lot narrower, actually. I think that would be just too small, 69. That is what you would use if you was gonna put multiple panels on. If you wanted to go wider and put like two of these on there, that wouldn't be bad either. Two of these, 350 watt. So that's what you're looking at. You're kind of looking at size and wattage. Anything over 300 watts will actually keep your golf cart fairly charged. Depends on how much you drive it. Obviously, something like this is gonna really keep it charged. These ones here look really like some older panels, 41, 81. That's fairly long. But see, that's got thick sides, can be a lot heavier. So you kind of look at it weight too when you're looking at these. Look at some over here. This was an LG panel, 330 watt. 40, see that's kind of narrow, but if you wanted to actually put your solar panel on top of your existing roof, this one would work for that. That would fit right on top of the existing roof and give you some juice. So that's another way you can mount these. I prefer just to get a larger panel and replace the roof with a panel. Here's a oh, 360 watt panel. What do we have here? 44 and three quarters wide. Same width as that other one. 68. So yeah, that'd be a good panel too if you was gonna multiply them up. Lexus. Oh, that was a, this is 405. This is actually the exact panel that we put on the six seater. We put three of these on it. So this is inside the warehouse. They've got all their shelving in here and got everything organized and put around and pretty cool. So these batteries are heading out to a retailer, I think in Florida or something like that, but these are lithium ion batteries. About ready to load all these on a semi. So they deal with a lot 
of different things with the power system, batteries, and they got odds and ends, all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, that's the one that we are taking home this time. What I like about this is it's got the silver color on here. I'm gonna paint the one inch square tubing that I'm gonna mount this with. I'm gonna paint that silver. It'll match with the aluminum uprights on that golf cart and look real good. Yeah. Unfortunately, I forgot my packing blanket this time. Usually I ride these upside down with a packing blanket, but this time I'm gonna put it on like this. I'll strap it down. Now I'm gonna go get a packing blanket before I get on the dirt road and re-situate this because I don't want this space up getting rocks stitched on it. There you go, that is how you choose out the solar panel for your golf cart. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys all in the next video.